You actually have a it went a little viral, uh, or pretty viral of you slamming Don't say someone. A little viral. It's it was the pretty most viral. viral. <laughs> the most viral. Uh, the buggy choke that you that you picked him up and put him out. Yeah. So under the ADCC, uh, the Abu Dhabi Combat Club is like like the Olympics of no gi yeah. and Brazilian jiu jitsu, mm -hmm. and uh, it's like held every every two years. And, uh, like, uh, every, every year, like it get it just, or every other time, every time the, pr that promotion comes out, it gets even better. You know, like the prize money keeps increasing. It originally was like you, if you won your division, a 60 man division, you get 10 K now it's, it's, uh, I think, I believe it's like 40 or 50 K. If you win your division, wow. just your division, you know, you got to win four matches right. and it, it's great. But I was trying out in, in April this year and this guy, uh, I, I was getting control of him. He put me in a choke. And he didn't let go, and and, and that rule said so you can slam the guy. Okay, mm -hmm. I slammed him, and uh, I slammed him on his head, and he went out. <laughs> yeah. So so like as soon as you just as soon as you felt he wasn't letting go, it was a no brainer. Was, like, was, you gotta, I, I, I don't know if you guys are gonna be able to pull up the video for this, and uh, you know, so people, I can put it so people after. so people can see or whatever. But yeah, but uh, like I just remember like he put the choke on. And I and I knew I I actually I saw a video of someone slamming someone that same day and I was like, all right, if somebody does that to me, I'll do that. And he did it to me. Wow, look at so that. So I stood. I yeah. I, I I stood up and I I locked my hands around him because I, once I knew I locked my hands, I was like, oh, he's stuck now. He's not moving. He, he, I'm like, yeah. I'm gonna get him now. And I'm, I, yeah. I stood up and I gave him a, a second to let go because you know this is this is kind of like a hard decision because you're gonna hurt somebody uh -huh. if if you do this. And I and I went for it. I got I got a, I got a lot of I got a lot of heat from it, you know. Yeah I, yeah. I spoke to him the next day though. He was fine. He just had a little sprain on his neck. Yeah, I mean that's the risk you take. I re I guess right with that choke. I mean, I to... I heard a story of somebody doing that to like a kid who went who like walked into their gym. That's that's I different. Saw that. You're in I a did competition. See that. Yeah, I did see that. Yeah, you're too. in a competition. Yeah, that like just happened a few weeks ago. Like yeah. that's a bad story. Because, like, the guy was, like, way bigger than the kid and, like, way more. It was the kind of... owner's son, I yeah, think. Yeah, so it was yes. the son. Yeah. yeah. That was horrible. Yeah, but you're competing. Like, you, I mean, anything it, it, goes it's, in that situation. It's legal, you know? Like, right. there's some events right. that are legal, like Fight to Win. Fight to Win is a jiu-jitsu uh, organization where you can mm -hmm. slam and you get a point for slamming the guy. <laughs> yeah, and, like, yeah, and I mean... the mats are spring-loaded. So, like, it's, like, it's uh -huh. like bouncy, almost like, you know, like it's WWE. You slam someone... The, they they kind of bounce off the, the mat a little bit, you know. Okay. And and, mm. and it's and, it, and I love that rule set too. Anything that's like <laughs> en entertainment friendly is I always feel like I do better in. Yeah, you put on a show. It's interesting when different organizations have different uh, legal rules. Like in one FC, you can do grounded knees. And, oh yeah. You know that all the time. You're just hearing like a ref take a point from. I mean, it's it's pretty common for for that to happen in the UFC. But like, I, I don't know. I mean, I'm not in there, but I would think in the heat of the moment, you're just not thinking at all. You're just, yeah, there's, there's just some hard, to... hard moments like that. Like the yawn knee, right? The pure yawn knee. That was, that was tough. There was tough. a guy last, there was a guy last night that was, uh, like baiting the knee. Like he kept, you know, the fingertip rule. So he kept touching and, and moving to see if he could like get the knee, you know what I mean? Uh, on the, so there's guys that are just baiting it so that you do it. In the heat of the moment, and then boom, you're you know, you're down a point, or the fight's over. So I heard uh, Dustin tricky. say he bit down on Michael Chandler's fingers when they were in his <laughs> mouth doing the fish hooks. Oh, yeah, man. he was like, I bit the shit out of his fingers. <laughs> <laughs> I was That's like, so good. <laughs> that fight was gross. Don't put, don't put your finger in my mouth. <laughs> For real, like that just doesn't. It doesn't sound. I mean, it's definitely a good idea if you're trying to, you know, sink in a, a choke a lot easier and get the chin up. That definitely sounds like it would be effective. Straight but dirty though. That's definitely just, dirty. Yeah. Uh, well, uh, you might lose a finger. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. I mean, he said it saved him that he had the the mouth guard on because like, like he couldn't he couldn't bite anymore. But you still got that bottom <laughs> rope, man. That's, that's that's dangerous. Yeah. Yeah. It's hard.